Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1719, Daniel Defoe publishes Robinson Crusoe, which is considered the first English novel. In 1742, Elizabeth of Russia crowns herself Empress. I wish I could crown myself as something. In 1792, the first guillotine was built in Paris. I'm sure it got a workout. In 1859, construction of the Suez Canal begins today, and it was completed 10 years later. In 1881, 250,000 Germans petitioned the government to bar foreign Jews from entering Germany. In 1886, Sigmund Freud opens his practice in Vienna, Austria. In 1896, the musical The Geisha premieres at Daly's Theatre in London and runs for 760 performances. In 1901, New York became the first U.S. state to mandate license plates. In 1908, radio and television broadcaster Edward R. Murrow was born in North Carolina. In 1917, the one-of-a-kind Ella Fitzgerald is born today. In 1925, Paul von Hindenburg is elected the president of Germany. That won't last too long. In 1926, Giacomo Puccini's uncompleted opera Turandot was performed posthumously at La Scala under the direction of Arturo Toscanini. In 1928, a German shepherd named Buddy becomes the first guide dog for a U.S. citizen. In 1940, super actor Al Pacino is born today. In 1942, tonight begins three nights of a bombing blitz on Bath by the German Luftwaffe, killing 417 people. In 1944, the United Negro College Fund is incorporated. In 1945, Soviet forces complete their encirclement of Berlin, Germany. In 1950, the Boston Celtics draft Chuck Cooper, who then becomes the first African-American to be drafted into the NBA. In 1953, the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA is first published in Nature magazine today. In 1960, the first submerged circumnavigation of Earth is completed by the submarine USS Triton in 60 days, 21 hours. I had to include this one just because I think it is funny. Today, in 1962, Cleveland sends Harry Cheedy to the Mets in trade for a player to be named later. On June 15th, in just a few months, the Mets send Chidi back to Cleveland. I guess they weren't impressed. In 1964, the new Phil Silvers show airs its last episode on CBS TV, and I guess becomes the old new Phil Silvers show. In 1966, a drunk driver kills 10 children in Asse, Belgium. In 1967, abortion is legalized in the state of Colorado. In 1968, Half a Sixpence opens at the Broadhurst Theater in New York City for 512 performances. In 1969, BBC Radio runs the final episode of the serial called The Dales. It was also the 5,400th episode. Amazing. In 1970, Frida Payne releases her song, Band of Gold. In 1974, Gunther Guillaume, an aide to West German Chancellor Willy Brandt, is exposed as an East German spy. In 1976, Chicago Cubs center fielder Rick Monday rescues the U.S. flag from two fans trying to set it on fire. In 1978, the Philly Fanatic makes its first appearance. Also in 1978, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that pension plans can't require women to pay more. In 1978 as well, tonight is the premiere of crime drama Vegas on ABC TV. In 1980, Oakland A's manager Billy Martin is restrained by umpires from attacking a fan. I remember that game. The umps should have let Billy go. In 1981, more than 100 workers are exposed to radiation during repairs of a nuclear power plant in Japan. In 1983, Soviet General Secretary Yuri Andropov invites U.S. schoolgirl Samantha Smith to the Soviet Union. You should Google this cute story. Also in 1983, NASA's space probe Pioneer 10 travels beyond Pluto's orbit. Just imagine what it will know when it comes back. In 1983, the German news magazine called Stern announces the discovery of Adolf Hitler's diaries. They are later found to be forgeries, as Hitler didn't keep a diary. 
In 1985, Roger Miller's musical Big River opens at the Eugene O'Neill Theatre in New York City for 1,005 performances. Also in 1985, the West German Parliament rules it is illegal to deny that the Holocaust occurred. In 1988, concentration camp guard John Demyamyuk is correctly sentenced to death in Jerusalem for his atrocities during World War II, but is wrongly identified as Ivan the Terrible, another guard who is even worse. In 1990, at the 25th Academy of Country Music Awards, George Strait, Clint Black, and Kathy Mateo win. Also in 1990, Hong Kong actress Karina Lau is abducted by Triad gang members. In 1991, Grand Hotel closes at the Beck Theatre in New York City after 1,018 performances. Also in 1991, sports reporter Lisa Olson brings suit against the New England Patriots for sexual harassment. In 1994, Southern California receives 14 inches of snow. Eek! Also in 1994, a fishing boat with school children capsizes in Lanaka, Syria, killing 46 of the children. In 1995, American dancer and actress Ginger Rogers died at the age of 83. In 2005, the final piece of the obelisk of Axum is returned to Ethiopia after having been stolen by the invading Italian army in 1937. In 2006, Columbia Records releases Bruce Springsteen's 14th studio album, We Shall Overcome the Seeger Sessions. In 2009, Elijah Wood is honored with the Midnight Award by the San Francisco International Film Festival. In 2011, the largest tornado outbreak ever hits the United States, killing 348 people. In 2014, the water supply of Flint, Michigan was switched from the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department to the Flint River, causing a public health crisis due to the high levels of lead. In 2015, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck near Kathmandu, Nepal, causing widespread damage and killing over 8,000 people. In 2018, Indian religious leader Asaram Bapu is sentenced to life for raping a 16-year-old girl. Good, he needs to stay there. In 2019, American basketball player John Havlicek died at the age of 79. And lastly, in 2021, at the 93rd Academy Awards, Nomadland wins Best Film and Frances McDormand wins for Actress, while Anthony Hopkins wins Best Actor. Thanks for watching today's episode. I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.